Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm decorating my coffee bar, the theme Hocus Pocus. I am so excited. I have been talking about this probably for a few weeks with another YouTuber. Her name is Vicky and her channel name is She Makes Buttons. Today I'm actually in collab with her, so I'm super excited. She just started out with YouTube. She's trying so hard to get to 100 subscribers so she can get her URL. So after you're done watching my channel, please go check her out and introduce yourself really quick. Hi, it's Vicky with She Makes Buttons. My channel is all about crafting, DIYs, me attempting to cook, and just, you know, family vlogs. It's a fun channel. I can't say it's going to be, oh, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm not doing, because I do a whole array of things. I do like doing um, hauls from Hobby Lobby and Michaels. Those are my favorite crafting stores. And I also do happy planning. So after you're done watching Stephanie's Hocus Pocus bar, decorate with me. Please stop by my channel. It's She Makes Buttons. My Instagram is also She Makes Buttons. Thank you. All right, guys, and one more thing I just wanted to tell you. A lot of my signs that I'm using today are actually handmade by Vicki. She does an amazing job, especially on the Cricut. So the few signs that I have up that are uh, Hocus Pocus, with the exception of one, she made them all. And I'm pretty sure she filmed them all too. So definitely, please go check out her channel. Drop a like and a subscribe and just let her know Stephanie or The Mommy Life sent you over. Let's get started. All right, guys, here's just an overview of the coffee area. The very top, I have my Main Street coffee shop with a few bats and a very large bat hanging up. I will be decorating this whole rack right here in a different video. It'll be with my dining room. So starting with the very top shelf, it's going to be I Smell Children with a broom and surrounded by bats. That is one of the signs that Spicky did make. And then here is the song that Sarah sang in Hocus Pocus. That's also the sign that Vicky made. And I just have a few bets up and down on the column right there. And then on my bottom shelf, which everybody knows, usually I go ahead and I put up the things that are a pain in the butt to put up or that are just really time consuming. So let me just kind of get a little closer really quick just to show you. That garland in the back, I got it from Michaels, and it is kind of a pink, so I have to put it on the dowel, and it's just really time consuming. I also put up some ghost lights just to kind of brighten this area, because it actually turns out it's a little on the dark side, so I just needed to brighten it up. But that sign right there is also the other sign that Vicky from She Makes Buttons made. I told her basically more or less what I wanted, and she had this font on her computer and sent me a picture and said, is this what you want? And I said, it is, and it's perfect. So I like that. And then, of course, I just have a few bats throughout, and those little tiny brooms right there, I just wanted to put some brooms there because I thought they were really cute, kind of showing that they're the three sisters brooms. And then this table runner i'm actually using this black one that came from home goods and has a spider but because the space ended up really really dark i just wanted to brighten it up just a little bit so i picked up this little chintzy dollar store runner and it just kind of gives it the color it needs right and my house is still decorated for fall but it's all coming down today so let's start decorating this coffee bar hocus pocus style I'm so excited. Of course, I'm adding some little creepy cloth. I absolutely love the I Smell Children sign. And if you guys know Hocus Pocus, then you know that that is a saying that Winnie, that witch Winnie says. So it's really funny. Um, also, there are these little tiny lights that actually go inside pumpkins. And I got them a whole bunch of them for 99 cents only. So I just thought it'd be kind of cool to have a little bit of light reflecting off. So I like the way that looks. And this Witch's Way came from Michael's. And then the Come Fly With Me, that actually also came from a 99 cent store. And that broom above the Ice Mill Children, I got that at a Dollar Tree probably about four years ago. And then Hocus Pocus sign right here with the kitty daiquiri binks that came from Michaels. Michaels had a whole bunch of Hocus Pocus signs, but of course when I went to go get it, they were completely out and that was the only sign left. So luckily Vicky from She Makes Buttons was able to make me my other signs. Otherwise I would not have been able to do this theme. 
Now, speaking of Zachary Binks, I thought this cat, a black cat with a cauldron, it fit the bill. So I just really liked him, even though in the movie he doesn't wear a witch hat or a cloche. I just really liked him. I thought it was really cute. And these little Target books came from a Target dollar spot. And that tray that I just laid down, that actually came from a dollar store that I just spray painted black. And this book, now, I don't know about you guys, but I thought it resembled the one in Hocus Pocus. Now, I know it doesn't exactly look like it, but it's just because of the one eye. So I liked it and I really loved the flickering light in there. And then I just added some dollar store potion bottles. And I also added this cute little spoon. It looks like a twig. So I just thought it looked kind of cute. And then that witch's brew in the middle, I just added some food coloring and a few few drops of green food coloring and some water to it. And I called it a day because I thought that looked really neat. And these spiders came from the 99 cent only store probably about four or five years ago as well. And I just thought they would look cute draped all over the potion bottles, the books and a little bit of the cat. And then I wanted to add a little bit of white to the shelf. So I have the perfect pumpkin to go here. I have a little white pumpkin with a spider on it that I picked up at a dollar store. And I just thought it added a little bit of brightness because this shelves, even though, of course, it's Halloween and everything's supposed to be on the dark side, it just was a little dark. So I just liked the white next to the black cat just to kind of outline them a little better. And then these little three hats, they were from Pier 1 Imports a couple years ago. Um, and I just thought that the little witch hats, along with the sisters and the little brooms, all fit perfectly. So with the bottom shelf, the three little brooms did come from Michaels. And Vicky did make the sister sign. And sisters is supposed to be when the main witch, you know, calls her sisters. So... That's why it says sisters. <laughs> Anyways, um, I also got this Hocus Pocus jar. Now, I picked this up from a Goodwill, and I spray painted the bottom black and then the top orange. And then I asked Vicky to make me those little um, words on her Cricut, the Hocus Pocus, I need coffee to focus. And I just went over to her place, and I actually just made a few quick things there. I made that and then I had a little sugar jar that I was actually going to drop off at the Goodwill and I said, you know what, I'll go ahead and spray paint it black and then Sarah, that witch, she says if you guys remember like in the movie when they're making the potion, they need a dead man's toe. So that's actually my sugar container, but you'll see it in just a second. So I went on ahead and um, just had her make a sticker that said dead man's toe and then that's what I keep my sugar in. Now, this Witch's Brew, um, this is a jar I picked up at Goodwill for 99 cents, and it was clear, and I just spray painted it green, and in person, it comes up orange, so that's kind of weird, but it's still, I mean, that's when I put the lights in it, but it still looks really cool, and then I just have another candle for a little light, and after I do film this, I actually decided to put one of those little disc lights um, behind that candle, so it lets off even more color. So that looks really neat. And then those Hocus Pocus um, cups with the straws, those actually came from Dollar General. The cups came from Dollar General for $2. And then the little paper straws, those came from the 99 cent store. I topped it off with a little orange pumpkin that has bats on it, along with these bat lights. And then that potions and charms box I just thought it looked really cute and it was on a, a faux book and then I just weave these little bats in and out and it just adds a little bit of color and it just it looks so cute originally when I was putting the coffee bar together that hocus pocus I need coffee to focus that was all black and I didn't add as many lights so it was really dark but once I added the bat lights and those little ghost lights and then I spray painted the jar it really like brought a lot of more like brightened it up and brought more color. All right. So I added a rat to my coffee pot and this little tiny white thing. Honestly, I don't know what you want to call it. It basically is like an LED light that flickers and it went into like a little pumpkin and I had actually knocked it against the counter and it just fell out and broke and I could have glued it, which that's exactly what I was going to do. But I thought, 
you know, I could go ahead and just turn it on and put it behind the coffee. And it looks kind of cool, like maybe like a potion is brewing. So that's what I went for. And then those little hand towels from Home Goods that were hocus pocus with Zachary Binks on it or a black kitty. So I just thought those were adorable. All right, and here is an overview of my coffee bar, guys. Sorry, it was a little shaky there, too. Guys, I hope you really liked this video. I hope you got some inspiration, and definitely go watch Hocus Pocus because I'm about to turn it on. I think I watch Hocus Pocus probably about five or six times in the month of October just because when else are you going to be able to watch it? But I just get more and more from that movie and more ideas, especially for Halloween. And I just love the way everything turned out. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.